Hello people on YouTube. I decided that instead of bringing the kids all down here and stuff, that I would cut up some old pallets and I'd bring the barbecue to them this week. I made a nice little barbecue pit in the back of my dump truck and put plenty underneath so it didn't heat up the truck. And there's the cooler, and there's all the pallets cut up. I'm ready for a barbecue. I just gotta stop by the store quick and grab some goods. I'll show you the rest of the dump truck. I built this truck. The uh, aluminum sides come off so it turns into a flatbed. It dumps, and it's got a barn door style tailgate on the back. It's a uh, Isuzu. NPR. And I'll show you the other side with the uh, sides on it, of course. They only had to take the one side off for the barbecue. Of course, let's see. There's the other side of the truck. Well, I'm at it since I'm right here. Might as well you guys my tractor I built. This is a Ford 1210. It's got low hours on it. The guy used it just for brush hogging his field on a small horse farm. And I picked up I picked up a brand new Cub Cadet loader from a dealership. Um, and I made these nice mounts. These are actually a lot heavier and nicer than the Cub Cadet one. And, uh, I bought a new valve. Of course, I made a nice little pedestal for it. Bought a new valve, and it's all quick connect. I can flip this loader right off of here and quick connect it. It slides out the front right here. You just got to pull them two bolts out, and it comes right off the tractor. And of course I had to turn the muffler upward because it used to face forward. So I turned it upward and added onto it so it's not uh, in the way of anything. Of course it's a four wheel drive hydrostatic tractor. And then after I picked up the loader and used that for a while I bought a New York rake and stuff. But then I was down in Morristown and I sold, saw this little rusty backhoe sitting on a trailer. Well, it's not rusty anymore, of course. I rebuilt the whole thing. It's got all new lines on it. It's got new everything. It's repacked all the cylinders. And this cylinder here has a little scrape in it yet, but it doesn't leak. I put new packing in it and stuff. And as I said, it's all brand new. I got all the lines in it. This is off of a uh, little bobcat used to quick connect where the bucket went so I just welded on some heavy plate and made it fit my three point hitch and I put a seat on it that my seat on the tractor pivots up and my seat on the backhoe pivots down and it's very comfy to sit and operate And that's my tractor. Yeah, I just figured I'd throw this in the video since it was sitting here. It's a nice looking, nice working tractor. It's very strong. I actually drag some pretty big stuff around with it and move lots of material with it. So, that's about all I needed to say. I better move my chainsaw before this maniac on the seat here runs it over. Well, have a good day, people. Bye.